grief. <laughs> wow. These are Ronnie O'Sullivan super shots from 2023 UK Championship. Astonishing pull. A perfect two ball plant and a thin cut on the brown by the rocket. steeplechase, bit of check side and then kill the cue ball stone dead. One of the insane long distance pot that boosts his confidence. One. That's incredible. The fire you could do without seeing these starting to go in. What a pot from O'Sullivan. Generates a crazy top spin to get a position on the red. A thrilling doubler and good long black in a row. Forty. Well, great double, but it's not quite over the line yet. Amazing controlled long shot with a little backspin. One. That's the other side of the court, though. <laughs> Knocking in a red like that. An incredible escape with a precision that leads to a successful pot. It proved not to be an issue. Very often a player would attempt to pot a red so far off the cushion like that. Don't know whether Ronnie did or didn't. A beautiful cued long red with a bit of a side spin to find the gap on his way back. Wrong. It's a beautiful cued long red from Ronnie because when playing with a little bit of side spin, particularly on the green in the previous frame, he had a couple of goes at it miss him on the thick side. He'd have been mindful of that as he attempted that long red. I really just wanted to see O'Sullivan in the flesh, which of course not everyone has done. Don't know where this is going to be. A stunning long red into the corner from a difficult angle, like blind pocket situation. Whoa. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And you feel it's effectively frying ball. Of course, he's still got to pot a couple more. But those last two shots really just illustrating the way things have shifted. McGill went for the cross double, didn't get it. O'Sullivan finds a great one. Makes a successful shot into the corner with his opposite hand. Beginning with Sibbing, who played it left handed. Oh, this is Ronnie's opportunity. Showcasing his skills with a stunning long shot into the corner. Whoa. That's good. He's up the green. It would be the brown if it goes, but over to the right there, there's a chance to send the cue ball down towards reds or even into the bunch, perhaps. One day free. Okay, not not terrible. Yes, bridging down on it a little. Twenty-eight. And the old 
Another beautiful long shot that shows his brilliant long game. Oh. Well, well, in my opinion, the Sidewinds long game is as good as it's ever been in terms of its consistency. Nothing wrong with those nearly 48 year old. Back to back long shots, he has turned on his unmissable mode from a long distance. Whoa. We saw a terrific display last night from uh, Mark Selby of his long game in absolutely brilliant shape, but this shot was as good as anything. Another unbelievable recovery shot into the corner to continue the break. An excellent recovery. We've seen a couple of really good shots to keep this little break going so far from O'Sullivan. Just be a frame winner. There was just a sniff there for Milkins to take a 3 1 into the lead. One of the best safety shot of the tournament by the Rocket. Oh. Yeah, but he played it well enough there. He would have gone for the pot, but he would have been very aware of the cue ball coming down. Into the Is really on both of these players now heading into the critical well, that was nice there was a lot of distance to cover between cue ball and object ball there to stop that cue ball and the spin on it just dying off might pot this and that's all we needed Typically tense opening frame at the start of our first semi-final, but surely gone the way of the rocket killer. As good as Milkins is, he's just never been able to lay a glove on the rocket. And that's another supremely well-struck red from long range. Formerly sure all week.